All right, neighbors, today I've got a special treat for you. It's another inventory home. You know how I love going out and looking for homes for my clients. I found this one. It's at 2705 Maverick in Mustang Lakes. Now that is in Salina, but it's Prosper ISD. This is a super cool neighborhood. Be sure and check out our neighborhood tour if you'd like to see more of it. But today we're gonna go tour this beauty. It is move-in ready. It's got hardwoods. It's got four bedrooms. It's got a media room. It's got an office, and it even has a sunroom and a covered back porch. Let's go check it out. I know you're gonna like this one. Okay guys, as you can see, right when we come up, the outside of the home is beautiful, but check out the entryway and the driveway. They've even done the upgraded pavers on it, which just gives it a really nice, luxurious feel. Eight foot solid core door, and we've got digital entry. Okay, coming in, what you're gonna notice that's just gonna really jump out at you are the gorgeous hardwood floors and the super tall ceilings. This just screams drama. Now, right off the entrance, we've got a really nice study. You can set it up as a study or an office. To me, this is really an office. And look at these upgraded doors they've put in. Just really beautiful with the beveled glass in there. Just really nice. And right off the front, if you work at home and you have anybody come by, it's super great because they don't have to go through the whole house. They can just pop in, do whatever they need to do. So right past the office, so here's the office. Right past that, we have a small hallway. And then you can see the pass-through, right? Right there with a little built-in desk, some storage. You've got another closet here. And then as we go forward, we've got three bedrooms. So I want you to really check these bedrooms out. If you've got kids, you're always thinking about how big are the bedrooms and how are they set up. So check these out. These are a really good size. They're a little bit larger than your standard builder size and they have bathrooms in them. This is a huge, huge thing. Having an ensuite bathroom in each bedroom is super important. If you've watched my channel at all, you, you know that I always harp on that. Windows in the back of the house and a bathroom in every bedroom. And every bedroom's got a big, either semi walk-in or definite walk-in closet. And these doors are eight foot solid core. Just another level of the luxury they put in here. And again, check out this closet. That's a really good sized closet. I mean, especially as an ancillary bedroom. And again, we've got a nice big room. And then over here, right into another really nice bathroom. So for most people, not everybody, but most people, you're going to have kids in these rooms or guests. And with the bathroom in there and a nice good sized closet, life is really nice. You know, they can feel almost like they're staying in a hotel if it's a guest or the kids stay out of each other's hair. They're not yelling and screaming that they need their own bathroom or somebody won't get out of the bathroom. It just avoids a bunch of conflict. Super awesome. Nicely updated if you notice with matching tile on both the floors and in the tub shower area. Okay, so now let's go in here and we're not quite gonna go into the family room yet, I'm teasing you, but I did wanna come in here and show you that there's a powder bath for guests. There's a neat little mud bench sitting area for storage, hanging backpacks, putting shoes up there. And then here's the utility room. Check out all the cabinetry in the utility room. You've got your sink, and it works all the way around. That is really awesome, guys. And then of course your washer and dryer go right here. Now let's pop out in the garage, because I'm not done. It's like an infomercial. But wait, there's more. What I wanted to show you, sorry about the echo, I know it's bad, is you've got a standard size two car garage, okay? And then you've got a tandem third car garage. Extra storage, you could have a trailer, you could have a Jeep, or maybe your sports car, your weekend car, or even a boat, you could park it back in here and not have it cluttering out here. Guys, I wanna point out one more thing. So many of our new construction homes will have a separator column so that you have two individual garage doors. That separator column, that thing eats rear view mirrors. In my opinion, if you're building a home you're, and you've got just a two car garage, get one big door, it's gonna save you a ton of repair bills when youngsters or people that are busy and not paying attention back out. If there's a column here, inevitably you're gonna get a body part on that column. 
With a big door, you're much more calm, you're much more relaxed when you pull in and you're not worried about damaging the car as you're entering that small single door garage. I know a lot of folks like the big double door, uh, the big double door because they don't feel they're gonna scrape anything on their car. Guys, here's the sunroom. Now, forgive me if I'm using the wrong term for this, but you could call it a multi-purpose room. You could call it whatever you want. It's got uh, flush bolts so that you could lock this room, lock half the door. Um, it's, just, it's just a great room. You could use this for painting, as a workout room, whatever you want. Um, it's just an awesome bonus room. I love this thing. It's so light and bright with the big windows. Just a really neat space. All right, so check that out, guys. Is that not gorgeous? So here we are, we're in the family room and the kitchen proper. And then there's the dining room. So again, here's the little pass-through area. And let me show you the cabinetry in here, okay? Really nice, all the way up to the ceiling. Super tall ceilings. They really spec this out beautifully. So you've got your stone fireplace. You've got your beams. You've got the windows on the back of the house again, which I love. Beautiful light fixture. And then again, it's done in a very, now as you reach in pantry, done in a very ser a series of very light and uh, I, it's white cabinetry. The surface on this is really white with inset of gray. And then you've got white tiles, nicely upgraded cooktop, beautiful cabinetry, double ovens. You've got a porcelain farm sink. And guys, if y'all have a porcelain farm sink and it ever chips, there are people that can repair that very easily. Just look them up. You don't need to live with a chipped farm sink, by the way. A lot of people stay away from them because of that. We have one, you can easily repair it. And that's the big island. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's your really nice ovens, super high end. So a cook would really love this kitchen. You've got tons of countertop space for food prep, a buffet, and then of course, entertaining is just crazy. Look at all this. I wanna show you the beams up here, so bear with me. And then look above. You've got illuminated glass cabinetry up here, undermount lights, just a gorgeous space. And then over here, of course, is the dining room. So it's gonna fit either a square or a round table without a problem. And of course, out here, you've got a beautiful covered patio. We'll pop out there in a minute. I wanted to walk you over. So remember, over here is the sunroom. Over here is the media room. The nice thing is, it's in the back of the house, and it's not going to disturb anybody that is in the front bedroom sleeping. Remember, because all three of those bedrooms were clustered together at the front of the house. You've got thick, heavy doors that are really going to knock down that sound if y'all are listening to a really loud movie or something. And then directly across the way is the master suite. So let's pop in here. And again, look at that. So you've got lots of glass on the back of the house. Really pretty. And then we move into a super updated bathroom. So there's your garden tub. And look at around the gar garden tub at this pretty inlaid tile. You can see there's my skin tone. And so you can see the color palettes of whites and creams and grays. You've got a little window that's inset there in the shower. Working my way around, you can see just the cabinetry and the countertops and the glass. I'll spin around and show you the other side. Again, you've got a lot of nice tile work in here. It's just a really light and bright feel in this bathroom and a pretty decent sized closet. It's not, the closet's not huge, but you have tons of storage space in here. It's really laid out pretty well for, for hanging clothes and what have you. Of course, the facilities. And then again, you've got a sink on this side and then you got a sink on that side. So I'll try to give you a kind of a panoramic. All right. All right, let me spin you around. So let me tell you something. I own a Highland home. This is a Highland home. Great houses. 
But this thing, this thing would almost make me move. It's got that sunroom. It's got those beautiful beams in the family area. And then check out this covered patio. I mean, my goodness, look at this. That's a lot of square footage under the ceiling. Pop out that center light, get a fan kit in there. You've got plenty of room back here for a play set. Dogs could run around, no problem. Um, you could do a pool back here. It's just really gonna depend on how big and what that retaining wall would wind up doing to you. So you wanna get your pool professional to really come out, make sure that's doable, if that's something you're concerned about. Overall, the two big takeaways for me in here is this room right here with the high-end appliances. This is a cook's kitchen, but it's also an entertaining kitchen. So in it, this right here is the first thing that just jumps out at me. And then I love having the bedrooms on that end of the house so that everybody can sleep. And you've got your media room there and you've got your master there. So you've got the ability to entertain with the kitchen and the family and the dining. And then you've got the bedroom split from the, the noisy area or the media area. And then that sunroom is pretty cute too. Well guys, if this interests you at all, please reach out to me. Um, I can give you all the details on this property. It is move-in ready, like I said. There is really nothing holding you back from this. And of course, if you've got a home to sell, it's no problem. We can get that done for you super quick. All right, guys, it's a beautiful day. The birds are chirping. Mustang Lakes has got some fabulous amenities, one of the prettiest amenity centers with that lake, and then the swimming pool's right on the water. Be sure and watch our uh, neighborhood tour of this neighborhood if you've never been out here. And otherwise, here it comes. May God keep and bless you, and may he cause his face to shine upon you and your family until we see each other again.